Hey, what's up YouTube? Just wanted to make a collection video. Um, had a couple requests on my page, on my channel rather, uh, for a collection update. So, here it is. Uh, first, I'm going to start out with my Blade Clown male, 2013 male. Uh, that should be breeding this fall. Picked him up from a local breeder here, Jesse Wilson, um, along with his sister, who he thought was Blade at first, but I don't think so anymore. You can see the clear difference in color between the two. Uh, reduced pattern. Although her pattern is kind of reduced compared to most clowns I've seen. But this guy is just exceptional. The blade reduces the pattern and brightens up the clown a bit. So he's more, more golden than she is. So he'll be breeding for me this fall. I've got a couple of projects I want to plug him into. And uh, she's just growing nicely. Both of them are growing nicely. So there we have it. Blade clown male, clown female. Next up we got some vanilla stuff here. This is a 2013 vanilla bumblebee I produced. And her sister, a female super pastel vanilla. Who's also growing nicely and holding her colors. So, pastel, sorry, super pastel vanilla female and vanilla bumblebee female. Who's a pig? Aging nicely. Next up, we got the 2013. And she's spider, 100% head pied female. And right beside her, one of my favorites, this is a pastel vanilla spot nose female. So, a lot of females in this rack, whole back females. So, gotta love what the vanilla gene does. Next up we got 2014 animals here. This is a leopard possible new gene that I have in my collection uh, from Jesse Wilson. I'm trying to help improve out. So she's more drastic compared to the other leopards. There's another one here, male, just for comparison. So 2014 leopard, possible head pied female, but I think she'll prove with all the markers she has going on there, as you can see on her stomach. Possible new gene, but I'm just leaving her as a leopard now. Leopard male, possible head pride, all from a leopard head pride male sire. Got four leopards with that first clutch there, so 2.2, so not bad. There's the second female leopard. They all turned out pretty nice. And over here we have another leopard possible head pied male with some nice markers, tracks and some orange blotches. So 2014 leopard male number two, 2014 leopard female number two. Here we have Two weird looking females that I thought were normals at first, but they're pretty orange. I don't know if they take after mom or what. Here's the other one. This one I thought was a vanilla in the egg because um, 
my super vanilla pastel male was also in with the um the mother that I'll show later on or show next. So I'm holding on to them for a bit, see how they grow. But uh I don't know. I gotta talk to my buddy and see what he produced. Anything similar. Here is mom. Uh, she's proven to be genetic. He's made some fire crosses with her, so. And all the two babies, I think this baby looks closest to what mom looks like. So. Something to play around with. Oh, she's a breeder female, so. She bred a leopard this year. I'll probably try something else. Maybe the blade clown or another male. See what else comes out of it. Next up is another leopard female. This is from a leopard head pied to a calico female. I think I missed or I believe I missed on the odds for the calico leopard. But uh, she's a pretty cool looking leopard female. Hasn't eaten yet, but still a nice female. Next we have her sister, another leopard female, much lighter. Interestingly enough, she hasn't shed yet. They all came out at the eggs at the same time. This one went to a shed along with the normal that I'll pull out right now. So there's a normal in the and the leopard. These two have shed. That's their clutch mate. All came out. Actually, she came out first. These two after. These two shed. She hasn't shed yet, but she's eaten twice. And these guys haven't eaten yet. So that was a little weird at first for me. So. Another leopard. Another leopard female to hold back, probably.